So I'm gonna be doing a tutorial for you guys. Happy Mother's Day. And I decided that we are going to do this cactus. Now, don't be afraid, it's not that hard. All you will need is um, some type of watercolor paper. Actually, if you don't have any at home, just use a thicker paper or construction paper if that's what you have for your, from your kids. That will work great. Any size works, a, an eraser, a pencil, and some type of paintbrush. Now these are mine, but the first time I ever painted, I used my son's uh, Crayola pack. <laughs> and it worked great. The last thing that you'll need is some type of watercolor paint. Uh, and you can also use just um, Crayola pack of watercolor. My first ever painting that I did of a deer was with that and it looks great so that can work if that's all you have so those are the things you'll need I sometimes like to use a black pen you don't have to have that and then of course you'll need water so that's all that we'll need again we're gonna do this cactus so it'll be fun thanks for joining me to start we're gonna take our pencil and we're going to draw the outline of this cacti that is blooming. So we will start by, let's do the pot. So we're gonna do a little oval line here and just a little one barely there. Come down and I'm gonna go a little more oval in this one than I did in there. There we go. And let's give it a little groove here. Great, okay. Next step is we're going to do the base. So think long oval. There we go. Good job. Now you can do your own shape if you want to be cre more creative. Or you can just follow me. Let's do that one there. Let's do another one here. Hey, why don't I add one right here? Okay. Here we got one. I'm gonna do a little one here, a little one here, and then one over here. Okay, and then let's add one over to this side. Great job. Let's give another one here. It's looking good. Just add them where you would like to see them. Now, let's see. Mine looks a little crooked, so I'm going to add one here, there. Then I'm going to go here, and then I'm going to put a couple little flowers from it. And then you just, with the flowers, you, you're you just going to go up with your pencil like this and mark, make little marks, just like that. And actually, I did a little bit too much because that's going to take over the paint too much. The paint will fill in the rest. We just want to have the, the little bit of an idea of where we're going here with our paint brushes. Let's put a little flower there. Let's see, I want to do a couple little flowers actually. I'm going to do one right here. And I think I'm good. Those three, okay, next step. We're going to take our paintbrushes and a medium sized paintbrush is great for all of this. We're going to dip it in the water, as much water as you can get, and we're going to go ahead and just put that all over our cacti. All over it. Now, if you want it, just make sure not to get it outside of the lines or you will get watercolor on those lines. They'll go right outside those lines. Okay, so get it nice and wet. Great. I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna do the biggest ones right now. Okay, oops, I had a little speck of water. If you need a paper towel, you might wanna grab one or a sponge. I have a little sponge here, I'm just gonna get that. Okay, now, Take 
your greenest color that you want to use and you start to apply it and look how that runs isn't that fun it's fun 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 thing about watercolor okay and that's the look we are wanting to have just going all over Okay, a little bit more water, a little more paint, adding it in here. Yes, getting our other spot, just adding it where you want it. You can go as dark or as light as you want. See how mine started trailing off already in here? We're gonna start here, not fun to watch lines are fun getting a little more water a little more paint going this way now yeah now this is our base coat so we will add more green as we go but the thing about watercolor is you've got to wait a little bit in between times of painting because you have to wait for a lot of things to dry. Okay, so I'm gonna add a little bit more green with no water on the side here. I'm gonna start to show that there's a little bit of a difference between this line and this line. Here we go on this one too. I'm gonna add a little bit more right there and here and here a little bit more here I'm gonna actually spin that line a little bit because I didn't like how that line was looking so I added I hope you ladies are having an amazing day today You're getting spoiled so well by your family on Mother's Day. Getting some time to yourself to do things that you love. Okay, so that is looking good. Now, we're gonna, I'm going to do the rest. Let's be, I'm gonna actually get a smaller brush to add this. Um, water because I don't want it to go out of the lines. So we're going to add water to these little spots. Soak them good. Great job. Now I don't want it. To, I You could hit this one here. I'll show you what happens. If you hit it, then it's going to start going into that, which is kind of cool. It has a cool look. I'll do it here too and then it starts to seep in and the water comes into this and it gives water drops and it's really pretty the way that the water affects the paint. Great. Okay. Now I'm going to take that same green that I used before. And for those of you, I'm actually not sure of the color of this green. Just whatever green you want to use. Whatever green you think cactus is. Or cacti, I guess I should say. There we go. Filling those in, you just drop it in. Drop, 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 drop. Okay. 
gonna take a little bit of time to dry. Don't get discouraged. If you run out of the lines, not a big deal. Just make it a little bit bigger. Like this guy over here, he kind of started to run out of the lines right here. So you know what we're gonna do? I'm just gonna extend his body a little bit and he's gonna be a little bit more plump than he was before. That is okay. All right, great. Now when we're done, we're going to erase the, the um, pencil. Okay, we're gonna let that all dry and we're gonna move on to the bowl, or I guess let's just say the planter. So in this, I used a lot of different color and to make it a little bit less intense of a project for you ladies, I'm going to just go with one color. If you wanna use a mix of yellow and brown, that would be a nice kind of clay looking color. Or you could do black and you could make it a black pot. Or, you know, honestly, it could be any color you want. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna start here and I'm gonna add the water. So we add the water so it looks nice and good right here. Still got a little green on my brush. That's okay, it'll all blend in. Going around here, let's start with this. Okay, and I'm gonna do, you know, I'm gonna do black. We're gonna go with black this time. Excited. And it's gonna try to look a little less than, it's gonna be a little brownish gray. All right, just bringing that in, gonna bring that in a little bit, blend, 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 blend. All right, now, because of this crease right here, I'm gonna, I'm going to put in some darker, because I want everyone to see, oh, there's a crease there. And I'm gonna do a little more shading over here, that's kind of where I want it to look like there's a shadow. A little shadow there, a little there, and we're just gonna blend, 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 blend. Blend, 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 blend. A little bit more. Okay, see how I'm just sweeping it across. Sweeping it across. Jesus, I just ask right now that you would encounter these women as they're painting. That they would feel free of performance and they would just feel your delight over them today as mothers, as creators, as curators. That you would give them joy and hope. Okay. So there we go. See how I made it darker on this side and darker up on here? It gives the illusion that it's round. I'm going to do a little bit more on the bottom. There, yeah. That is what I was looking for. Okay, now let's move on to the top. And I'm going to do the inside first, and let's do brown because let's do the inside of the pot because I don't want to mix the colors yet. Mm, here we'll go. We're still a little wet. We'll see how this goes. Inside, we're gonna do that dark brown. Be careful not to hit your green or you're gonna have a green cacti. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna actually bring it down little bit further here because my cacti came down and I want there to be some brown in there. So we're going to make the top. See how I did that? I'm going to bring it to the top of my bowl. 
my plans are down a little bit further. There we go. Fun! Looking good. Oh, I can't wait to see what you girls have done. Okay, so we're gonna give that a second to dry. Okay, let's move on to the flowers while we give everything else a second to dry. And now when we add these flowers, I'm gonna go to a smaller brush. If you just have one brush and it's just a medium size, it's gonna be just fine. Don't worry about it one bit. Okay, we wipe off, get all the extra paint off of that. But I'm gonna go for like a reddish pink. Oh, this is pretty red, not pink. Okay, now I'm going up. I'm gonna do this like this. And I didn't put any water on my brush this time. Um, I could have, but I'm kind of liking the dry on it right now. Let's see. I'm going to do a little bit of water on this one. Let's see how we like the difference. It just gives it a little bit more of a whimsy look. So if you want to go whimsical type look, I like it. Okay, I'm gonna do another one with the, okay, and this was even less paint. So hopefully you can hear me with that in the background, that mowing. Okay, I feel great about that. Now, I want to add just a little bit of yellow for those little insides of the flower to come out, just a little. Warned on that one, it, it blended. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to do the black on this. The top of our bowl well, here, we're going to add a little bit of water. I'm not going to put the water on first this time, it's going to be a bit darker. I'm going to leave a little bit of a white line there. It's just a different way to do it. Give a more of an illusion of a, of a, there's a difference. That's the soil and that's my pot. All right. up and around right here. Right there, right there. Bring it down here a little bit more. Okay. Now, if you want to add more color into your cactus, you want to bring a little bit of yellow, you can do that right here. You can just go add it here and bring it up or um, wherever it's still wet, you can just add a little bit more color and fun if you want to do that. If not, if you just want to leave it the way it is, that's great too. If you want a little bit of more watermarks, you can add drops of water like that and it will give you this cool watermark look that is so loved with watercolor. There we go. Okay, we're gonna take a little break and let it dry. Okay, so I have let my cactus dry. And as you can see, I did add this little mark right here because my paint ran out. And so I just added a little spot. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take an eraser and make sure that your eraser doesn't have any dark spots on it. Just get it all off real quick before you put it on your paper. You might get more brown spots on it. Do that real quick. Okay, mine's pretty good. Um, if you're wondering, I this is the eraser I'm using right now. Right there. Okay. <laughs> so we just take off our marks. Just erase it real good. 
all around it. Make sure that nothing's wet while you do this or you will definitely smear. Okay, let's see, I think I'm done. Okay. Great. Okay, get all those spots off. Awesome. So take a black marker or a black pin and we're gonna do our little quills. So, whoops. Okay, so just, I like to do like three at a time and I just do them up one, two, three. And you can just do them wherever you want. And I'm just picking random spots. Some I like to do off the edge. Others I like to do in the inside of it. A little longer for some, a little shorter for others. Just, you can't go wrong with these. Okay. Do one here. Oops, have some. There we go. Some out that way. All right. Just a few more. I like to have them all kind of growing up in the same direction. You want to keep them in the same direction as much as you can. It just makes it flow better, look better. All right, I'm going to do a couple right here. And then just look at it and see, hmm, am I missing any spots? Yeah, I'll do a couple this way. Hmm, this spot needs those little, it's a little barren. All right, one little one there. Do a couple coming off of that one. Perfect. Let's do that. Okay, and you are done. So here is our finished product. Hopefully yours turned out great. If not, it's okay, do it again. It's gonna be fun. Um, I actually like this one better than the other one that I did. And if you want, I had on my other one put blooming. You can make it a card for someone and give it to your mom, or you can use it later down the road. Um, but these are so fun to do. Hopefully I can do another one for everyone again soon. If you make it and you're proud of it and you wanna share it, I'd love to see it. Go ahead and tag me on Instagram. Graham, Graham. my name is Anna M. Asbury on Instagram and then on Facebook, it's Anna Asbury. Tag me and I'd love to see what you've created in your home. Great, happy Mother's Day.